So if you're trying to edit your website using Bricks Builder, and when you launch the editor, you get a white screen, I wanna show you how to fix that in this video. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another area that I experienced when I was building my website using Bricks Builder, and it's probably one that you're going to experience yourself when you're using Bricks Builder at some point in the future. So I'm gonna show you what that error was that I experienced and then how I fixed it, again, because you will probably experience this at some point when you're building your website. So let's jump in and look at this white screen error. So here, I am in the Bricks community and this is what sparked the idea for this video. So Ivan was getting a white screen when he tried to edit his page using Bricks Builder and then down here Joy gave this solution here. If you're using Cloudflare you need to disable Rocket Loader. Now this reminded me that I'm pretty sure I had a similar error when I first started using Bricks Builder. So I'm going to show you what this is here. So here we are on the homepage of my website and if I go edit with Bricks as the editor loads you can see it's quite fast and then you know I'm in the editing mode and I can do everything. It's all working. But if I go back here and then under my website and then speed optimization and I scroll down a little bit, rocket loader, if this is on, okay, so now it's activated. If I go back here and refresh the page, it actually takes quite a bit longer to get in there and now the screen is white. Now, if we right click and go inspect and then go to the console, there's no errors and that's why it can be a little bit hard to diagnose. And it's basically just this setting here. So if you turn this off and we go back here and refresh the page, now that's working again. If you are here, and let's just say we turn it on and we go back here and we refresh the page with rocket load enabled. Let's just say that this was the original starting point. If you do go back into here and you turn this off and you go straight back into here and you refresh the page and you still see that error, it just needs a little bit of time. You can also try right click inspect element and then you can hold your mouse down here and go empty cache and hard reload. So we can see if that'll work. And as that loads, that might've fixed it, but it might just need a couple of seconds to update, but that's worth trying. So again, um, you know, this just sparked an idea of something that I faced previously with my website. And thanks to Joy for um, giving that solution because I would have forgotten all about this rocket loader um, problem with bricks. Now the second problem that I had, I'll first show you the problem and then we'll go through how I fixed it. So let's go to the dashboard of my website and then let's go down to WP Codebox. If you're not using WP Codebox, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I recommend everyone give this plugin a go. It's $39 for a one site license, the life time thing so you pay once for life and it allows you to add all your PHP snippets in in folders so it's just so easy to manage all the customizations into your website you can write CSS code your CSS code that you create you can make it save as an external CSS file you can go open condition builder and only run your PHP JavaScript and CSS based on conditions using this UI builder it's just really good but what we're going to do now is I'm going to search for convert box and it's going to be this code here so just quickly so we understand and what I was doing here so we know what the error is and what's causing it. ConvertBox is the pop-up software that I use to add pop-ups all over my website. It's not a WordPress plugin. And so what we need to do is we need to go to ConvertBox and we get their JavaScript tracking code. And then I just need to add that in the head on every page of my website. Now I've been using ConvertBox for many years now. On my main e-commerce website, you can see that I've been using this. I can't, I don't know how long I've had it activated, but I have 10 convert boxes added to my main e-commerce website. And just using ConvertBox and letting it run, we've added 30,000 people to our mailing list. So I've tried all the different ones. The good thing about ConvertBox is it's a lifetime deal. So in the description below, I'm gonna leave a link that will take you to the ConvertBox website. And then at the top here, it's open for early access plus special lifetime pricing. You can click there and get the lifetime deal. To be honest, this has always been running as a lifetime deal. The only thing that's changed really over, I mean, we're talking many years that they've been running for early access lifetime deal, but it is a high quality pro uh, plugin. It's from the, it's now bought by the same people that own Thrivecart, which has a very good reputation as being a cart software for people selling stuff online. And even though it's always been a lifetime deal, the lifetime price keeps going up basically every year. So if you are looking for a pop-up software, I definitely recommend checking checking out uh, the convert box. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But this is basically what we're doing is we're trying to load the convert box tracking code in the head of my website. Now, this is where the error happens. So let's just say I get rid of these conditions and then we save this. So what this code is doing now is on the head, on every page of my website, we're going to output this tracking code. Now, 
throw up my website, this works, okay? So there's no problem here, but there is a problem when I try and launch Bricks Builder. So if we go back to Bricks Builder now and I just reload the page, so the editor's loading, and now we're in the editor. If I right click and go inspect element, and then we go to the console, I start getting a lot of weird errors. And this has actually broken my website doing many things. So one of the weird things that it breaks is when I'm going to style and then CSS, and if I'm trying to add like CSS code here, it doesn't seem to save. And there's a few other weird quirks and stuff like this that are broken. It's basically because the JavaScript on the builder here is broken. So things just aren't saving and working as they should be. So again, if I right click here and go inspect element, and then we view the source code, these errors here, if I go back to here and I just uncomment these conditionals, and we'll go through what these are in a second and click save and come back to the builder and then reload the page, you can see that those errors go away. So if you're in queuing your own JavaScript or you're adding your own custom code to your website, that's the first thing that I would look at in the console just to check if there's any errors there. And then if there are, what you can do is in your code here, you can add this conditional. So bricks is builder. And what this is, so if we put the um, exclamation mark there, it's saying that if it's not the bricks editor, so if bricks isn't in the editing mode, then output the code there. So I've just started adding this and wrapping all my custom code in this for any JavaScript that I'm adding because it just makes sure that I don't break the editor. And you can ignore this, but basically I'm just not showing pop-ups to admins as well. So if we're not in the bricks editor mode and we're not an administrator, then I'll output it there. And that's just so I can edit without seeing pop-ups and so that it doesn't load in the editor and break it. So two errors that you could get there with Bricks Builder, the white screen and JavaScript console errors here that break the builder. And that's the two ways that I've gone out and fixed each of them. But just on this idea of errors using Bricks Builder, I'd recommend going and watching this video next, especially if you are using WooFunnels. WooFunnels is like click funnels it's like a sales funnel building plugin, but it's inside of WordPress and it actually does more than ClickFunnels, has a really strong integration with WooCommerce. And it's what I use to build all my opt-in pages, all my one-click upsells for WooCommerce to customize my WooCommerce checkout, to customize my thank you page. It does a whole lot. And there was an error between Bricks Builder and WooFunnels. And this video shows you what the fix is. So I'm gonna leave a link to this video now on the screen and I'll see you guys in that video.